in my last video, when I put the wires on, uh, when I fastened them to Greg's roof, it looked like I just put some Henry's Tropical caulking on there. I didn't show you what I really did, uh, and so I wanted to revisit that just real quickly. I used a, a fastener like this. It's got a peel and stick back that you can put on a surface without having to drill a hole into it. And then I used a zip tie through it and I put the Henry's Tropical Seal over that, over the wires. It's got a peel and stick back, but it probably wouldn't work on the on that Tropical anyway. <clears throat> I just wanted you to know about these. I could have also used something like this, which just you screw it into the roof. These are what I use on the on the solar panels themselves on the frames when I'm making the wires tight across the you know, coming out of the junction box on the back of the panel, I screw one of these into the frame and zip tie the uh, wires to it so they're not uh, beating against the roof when you're driving at higher speeds. Anyway, I just wanted to show you this so you could see that I didn't just put the tropical right on the uh, right on the wires. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna review a couple of uh, power plugs that charge your handheld devices faster. This doesn't have to be a complicated video with a bunch of razzle dazzle, it's pretty simple. I'm gonna show you the product, I'm gonna show you what the product does, I'm gonna show you how much it costs and what you can get the uh, product for at discount and put links for uh, the stuff all in the description. This is a review. These companies send me these products to review. This is a relationship I have with, uh, with Aki, is a longstanding relationship with uh, Mike specifically to review their products. And so I didn't pay for these. I'm just gonna show you what they do. And on the uh, back of my own reputation, you know, if I say this stuff is great, and it's not great, there goes my reputation. So let's cut right to it. This doesn't have to be complicated. They sent me two power plugs. They're compact. They're not that expensive. The prongs fold up. You can stow it away in your bag. It's USB-C. A lot of uh, little components are going to USB-C now when you start buying new things to replace your old ones as they're breaking or as you want the upgrades, they're coming with USB-C ports. The new uh, power stations that I'm reviewing, USB-C ports where we didn't see them in the past. This is the new technology that's coming. You can plug in the USB-C either way. It doesn't have an upside and downside like USB and, and, uh, and uh, micro USB cords. I was thinking about this the other night. I probably got about a dozen handheld electronics of one kind or another that uh, need to be charged with little plugs like this potentially. Some of them, it's not real time sensitive how fast they charge. So I've got this, I call it my command center. This is the a, uh, a piece of material that goes on the back of a chair in your car to stow stuff, an organizer, and it's got a USB port on it that's one into four. In other words, you plug the bottom out cord into one of your USBs in your car and it has four ports. Well, when you split that one into four ports, it splits that power up four ways and so it's very low charging time some of my stuff it doesn't matter i have a lot of headsets uh earbuds things like that when i'm editing video i use these they run on a battery it's not super critical that i charge these up fast so i use the slow charger but some things it is important that they're charged fast like the gimbal that i'm filming this on see how it looks like somebody's holding the camera mm, it's just me i've got it on a gimbal that gimbal's power hungry and it needs to be charged fast when I need to make a video. So I need a solution for that. And these are one of those solutions. Uh, my phone, if I'm gonna be off all day and my phone is uh, maybe at 25% and I wanna put a quick charge on it, I would wanna use one of these plugs to uh, ramp up that charging potential a lot faster and get me out the door with a much larger charge on my battery than if I was using, say, these up here or a typical charger. So these things have their place. The first one is 18 watts. Plugs into an AC plug, USB-C out port. If you don't have a USB-C to Fire, which is iOS, which is an iPhone, 
or USB-C to micro USB, which is an Android phone. If you don't have one of those cords, I'm going to put links in the notes of where you can get them. These are all affiliate links that I use from Amazon, which means if you click them, I make a little percentage on what uh, gets clicked and what you buy. Doesn't cost you any more. I'm just letting you know what's going on with these reviews and what's going on with these links in the bottom. <clears throat> That's how I support myself. Uh, the other one is a dual port. So basically, it's a 36 uh, watt. 18 times 2 is 36. So basically, if you want two ports at the same time, you can get the double one. The single by itself is right now $13.49 on Amazon. So we're not talking about a huge investment to be able to charge your handheld devices faster. It comes with a coupon code for $1.50, uh, 10% off. So you can get it for even less than that. The 36 watt, two ports, still has the folding prongs. Bam, $24.29. It also has a coupon code two dollars and seventy cents off ten percent off so if you would like to purchase one of these to charge your electronics faster click the link in the notes over while the coupon codes are active because they don't keep those coupon codes active uh, indefinitely it's just uh, during certain periods like me doing this review click on over and order yourself one how fast do they charge oh they charge fast they charge faster take my word for it what does that even mean? It doesn't mean anything. I'll tell you what, does, well, my reputation, but I'll tell you what does mean something. I'm gonna take the phone that I'm filming this with right now, and I'm gonna charge with a standard cord and the charging device that came with it in the packaging and show you how fast it charged. And then I'm gonna plug in the Aki uh, to my phone and run a test with it and see how fast it charges. These are timed charges. So it's going to be running a test, kind of figuring out how fast it charges. Let's take a look and see the results of those tests right now. One of the things that is noteworthy is when you charge your devices faster, are you hurting them? Are you going to damage them over time? Are we overclocking the charging system in these phones, in these handheld devices? From all the research that I did, we're good. It's not going to hurt anything. If any, it warms up because it's uh, charging faster, but it goes from normal to warm. Uh, I don't know about you, but I've set my phone out in the sun and forgotten it was there when I'm working outside before, and the sun gets it really hot and it shuts off. I think if I did that enough over time, it probably would shorten the life of my phone. This just goes from normal to warm, and all my research, I, I you know, I research these things before I just talk about them on uh, uploads. I can't find anybody anywhere that's got any complaints in the reviews, in the questions about these, that's had a problem with them. And you know how people are quick to complain if something isn't good in the reviews on Amazon. So I trust it. Uh, all it comes down to now is how much faster is it? And is it worth the price with the discount? You decide. Thanks for watching. See you on the next upload.